Welcome! Today I'm going to show you several ways to make uh, a table. I was just uh, curious uh, about the different ways you can make a table and I'll show you six of them. So let's use a cube and snap the grid. Probably the easiest way to make a table is with uh, subtraction. So let's put the table down, I mean a box down. And then select the top polygon and move it up. Go back to objects, click in the object and spacebar creates a copy. And the second copy we're going to scale down. And we're going to scale it out this way and move it down. second object click it and spacebar creates a copy and we're going to rotate that copy over the y 90. go back to the first one we're going to subtract now so that one is selected control click a second copy subtract it and while that one is still selected control click that other box and subtract there you go, a simple table made with subtraction. So I wanted to see how, how many other ways you can uh, build a table. So let's make one with a 8 by 8 grid. And we don't want snap to grid this time. Let's put it down. It's scaled up. And we want to select all the polygons on the bottom there. So angle it like that, go to polygons, shift alt, select them. And we're going to deselect four in each corner. Hold the control down and deselect. And you know it's deselected because the lines turn black on the side. And that one, that one, and the one there. Take your time. You'll find out if you did it wrong, then the table is not going to look right. There we go. So leave those selected and you move them up like that. There you go. This is my favorite table of all. So go to objects and optimize to get rid of some geometry you don't need. There you go table made from an 8x8 grid. Let's do another one with uh, from an 8x8 grid, but it's, uh, we're going to do something different with it. So let's put it down. Let's scale it. Make it tabletop height this time. And we're going to go to polygons and select the corners. Hold the control down for the 2, 3 and 4 corner and then extrude them. And we want to do it individually. Let's do it 5, 12. Go back to objects and optimize it again. See if we can get rid of some of the geometry. And why don't we move it, place it on the grid. There you go. Another uh, table made for the 8 by 8 grid and extrusion of the legs. So let's do, let's do one where we uh, uh, created from pieces. So uh, we're going to do 
one one and we do one snap to grid now and put a cube down let's make the tabletop first and move it out of the way and we're going to create the legs and let's make it a little bit taller select the top polygon and it's 256 let's move it relative 256 make it 512 total Back to objects and mirror it. And then select both of them by selecting the second one and mirror it over the Z. So we have four legs now. Select the tabletop and move it. Reset it, move it to the absolute center. Let's scale the tabletop down a little bit. Move it, place it on the grid and move it relative to put it on top of the legs. Okay, so this is a table made from pieces. Let's do another one and let's make one uh, using extrusion only. I'll show you. So let's put the leg down over here. And we're going to do select the top and make it taller like before 256 relative. Let's extrude it for the tabletop 100. Okay, now we're going to go across and put a leg down over here. So we're going to select that one and extrude it. And each square here is 128 by 128. So when I want to go across, it's 512. And I'm going to do another 128 for the leg. And I select the bottom there and extrude it down. Let's combine these um, polygons. So select that one, so click, control click that one, and control click that one, and merge them. And the new polygon. So extend the tabletop now. We're going to extrude it, 512. And then we're going to extrude it again for the legs, 128. And then we make the final legs. Control click the other one. Extrude, 512. And we want to do it individually. And go back to objects and optimize and see if we can optimize it a little bit. There you go. Table made with uh, extrusion of polygons only. Let's see. I'll do one more. Table with triangular legs. And let's do, yeah, snap to create of a cube. Let's scale down a little bit. Let's do it with the polygon again, the top. Select the polygon and move it down. Okay, now stay in polygons and select that one. And control click, select that one. And we're gonna extrude and individually. And we, do, we don't care about the size, we're gonna do it by hand. Okay, something like that.
Now select that polygon, control click that polygon and connect them. Makes a little corner. Uh, whoops. Okay, that's that's what I want to do. Okay. Polygon. Select that triangle piece and extrude it. 512 is fine. Okay, we're back to objects and mirror it. And we can mirror it over the X first. And control click select the other one and unite them. Then objects mirror this time over the Z and control click the other one and unite them. Okay, I'm going to show you one more thing with the table. I'm going to uh, show you how to make a drawer. Let's give it some more room on the top first. So go to polygons and select that one and move it up a little bit. And select this polygon inset. And while it's still selected, scale it to a precise size that you want, something like that. Maybe a little bit wider this way. There we go. So it's still selected. Extrude and extrude in. If you go too far, it comes out the other end. So do it about that way. You can see it's all the way in now. And extrude it out. So the drawer is sticking out to the top. Inset, you want to do uh, and then same thing again, you can scale it if you want, maybe a little bit thinner this way, like that, and then extrude, and we're going to go in, and don't go too far, if you go too far it comes out there, so do it about that much. There you go, a table with a drawer with triangular legs okay you saw six of them thanks for watching you can watch more tutorials at figaro.io